everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in this video we're going to go over how you can clip your rat's nails without any sort of stress or fear on their part or yours. So first of all, before we begin, you will need a few things. You're going to need something to clip their nails. I recommend getting some small animal clippers like these, and that's because these are going to be a lot sharper than any human nail clippers. Now I was using human nail clippers in the past, and let me tell you, it was terrible. They are so dull compared to these, and it takes so much more effort to actually cut through a nail. And if you use something like this, it's just quick, easy, it's great. Other than that, you're also going to need a blanket. I'm going to be using this one right here. And you can see the reason I have this blanket is because I'm going to be having my rat lie down in it for a period of time and I want them to be comfortable. And I also want my lap to cradle them in a position that's easy for me to clip their nails. So finally, you also need a rat who is okay being on their back. So basically they need to accept this position and Cookie is squiggling right now, but she's not afraid. They need to be able to eat in this position. So you can see right now Cookie is eating her treat in this position, she's not struggling. And this is essential because if your rat can eat in this position, clipping nails is so easy, especially the hind legs. We'll get to how you can do the forelegs after this. So yeah, if your rat does not feel comfortable in that position, all you need to do is you can either watch my video on it, which I made several days ago, I will have a link in the description, or you can just condition them by having them eat in different positions, you know, slowly working up to this position itself. So, okay, other than that, the first thing you want to do before you clip any nails is you're going to want to decondition your rat to having their feet handled and also decondition them to having this thing clicked and also near them. So we're going to take Cookie here and I'm going to give her a treat, put her on her back, and you're going to see here that she's actually absolutely fine with me touching her feet. So I'm just going to hold her up here and I'm going to move her feet around while she is eating. And you can see she's okay with that. I'm also going to handle her individual toes. If your rat is not okay with this, then you are going to need to work up to that. And maybe just touching their foot or having your hand near their foot while they're eating. And whenever they stop, you wanna take your hand away and just work up to being able to move their foot around like I'm doing with Cookie here. And the next step is to get them used to these clippers. So you can see Cookie here is fine with them. This is actually her second time encountering them, but she's reacting exactly the same way. And she's not scared of them, which is a great thing. If your rat is, again, you're going to need to work up to doing different things with them. But first, I just want Cookie to be okay with them touching her. I'm going to touch her in different places. Essentially, you want to touch the feet the most, just because that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm touching her feet, moving it around. And each time Cookie gets up, she gets another treat, goes down, eats, and then I resume touching her feet with these. So the next thing I want to do is teach her that this noise is not scary, so you can hear. So I am just making sure that she is totally fine with the noise, and you can see she's fine with it. It doesn't make her pause or anything like that. So the next step is going to be actually taking the nail clippers and putting them around her toes. I'm not actually going to be clipping yet. I just want her to feel the sensation of this on her toes. It feels a little weird when it's hooking over and I just want her to be okay with that before we move on to actually clipping. So you can see I'm just hooking her nails, not cutting. Sometimes I'll make the noise again. And yeah, she's just learning to be okay with all of that. And the next thing we're going to do is actually clip the nail. So this is going to be the hardest part and the way that I like to do this, and I've only practiced on cream so far, is first get your rat here. You can see she is in the crevice, she's eating her treat, and in this position she's also less likely to be able to roll over and accidentally get injured as I'm trying to clip the nail. Hello Blackberry, please get away, thank you. And I'm now going to give her a treat that has some yogurt on it so it can sustain her a little bit longer and it's also more valuable so I can go ahead and clip her nail. Oh my god, <laughs> Barry, you're, you're photobombing Barry, get out of here. Now you have to remember that nails have a root and the root is the pink part that if you clip it, it's going to bleed and you don't want to clip it because that's painful for your rat and it's also not a fun experience to have yourself. Cookie's like, that one doesn't have yogurt. There you go. So you just need to be very careful. It's very easy to clip it if you're not careful, but as long as you look for the white part, and you can see the much more white part here, you should be able to get it pretty well. And then every time your rat moves, give them another treat. There you go, Cookie. Hold it in. Situate her. 
And let's do the other foot cookie. You can see I'm not even restraining her every single time I put her down. She's totally free to move about and that makes her feel more safe and lets me focus on clipping her nails. Whoops. Sorry, Cookie. Okay. She's looking good, Cookie. You're looking good. So that would be the bottom nails, and now we are going to move on to the top ones. Look at her. Okay, so the second thing I'm going to move on to is the front paws. And you can see I have some tape here, and you will see why in a second, along with a tissue box and a cap full of yogurt. So I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to tape down the yogurt right in the center. <laughs> Wait a second, Cookie. Wait a second. Okay. So now I'm going to let Cookie start to eat it, and what we're going to work on is her letting me pick up her paws as she does so. So I just want to be able to pick up her paw and see her nails, and see like this. <laughs> She's not big on that. And then pick up her other paw and see her nails again. And the whole point is just for her to get comfortable with me moving her paws while she eats. So then I'm going to move on to desensitizing her to the clippers near her nails. So again, just like tapping them on there. Just getting her used to them being near her nails, tapping her fingers some, very, oof, tapping her fingers again, tapping them, and Cookie here is definitely not ready for the next step, because you can see she's still dragging her hand away from me, and ideally you just want her to let you pick up the hand, put the clippers near it, let her lick it, just make it very positive. So I'm going to refill this and then I will take the next clip. Okay, so here we go. I have refilled this and now it's time to try and clip Cookie's nails. So you need to look at these really closely because again, you're going to have a very short click up front if your rat has been healthy and running around. So I recommend that you really look close up at these before you cut. So yeah, you just take them here and then you just trim. And I'd recommend getting much closer if you can. Yeah, so she has really, really short nails, so it doesn't really need any sort of trimming. You just put the nail in the loop and you cut like that. And it's really hard for me to see the click on the other side, so I'm not going to trim them really, but you would just reorient this. I would probably have this facing me more like this, so I could trim them much easier. And you really want to work on getting your rat used to having their paws handled before you move on to cutting them. That was just me showing you an example. I'm actually going to be conditioning Cookie here to accept this much more readily. You can see she still accepted it pretty well. It's not really that scary for them if they get accustomed to doing it while eating food. And you can see these aren't scary to her at all, which is a big, big benefit here. If you guys have any more questions about rat care, feel free to visit my website at rattricks.weebly.com. I will have a link in the description. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!